Hi, my name is Marilyn, and for this video, I wanted to show the importance of supporting women-owned businesses, and especially in these times, Black-owned businesses, by sharing some of the things that I've purchased recently from Glam Goth Beauty. I'm hoping that by leading by example and using my platform to share these products and supporting people that are actively disrupting prejudices within the beauty industry is what's really going to make a difference. It's not enough to speak up, we really have to put our money where our mouth is and create action within the community. I've been really happy to see a lot of influencers use their platform in order to support the Black Lives Matter movement because it's undeniable that a lot of the trends and beauty standards today come from Black women. If we look at who are the top creators on this platform even, most of them are white men. For me especially this year, I've taken my social media a lot more seriously and been trying to, you know, grow and in doing that, I have made a conscious effort to support women-owned brands specifically. This isn't something that's new or that's a trend because even within the makeup industry, a lot of these companies are run by white men. There's a lot of systemic issues within capitalism and business and beauty entertainment that are really important to me and I want to be a part of that change. So down below, I've compiled some resources where you can find out how to be a better ally and places to donate, as well as some of my favorite Black-owned businesses. I know I don't usually talk too much in my intros just because I hate them being so long, but I really want you guys to get to know me a little more and know that this is a safe space. So with all that being said, I was first introduced to Marley of Glam Goth Beauty, back at DragCon of 2019. I was fortunate enough to meet her in person and actually picked up two of her glitters. And with her recent eyelash collection that just came out, of course I was going to pick them up. So this is my first time trying her eyelashes. They're brand new. And I also picked up three lipsticks and I have the new collection of glitters. So if you'd like to see a try on of all of these different products, then just keep on watching.
So overall, I would really recommend these eyelashes if you're looking for something that's not too shiny, synthetic, and vegan. And these are extra full, so I really love the amount of volume that they give. Although I do prefer Human Hair Invisible Band eyelashes, these synthetic ones that are super thick and voluminous are still pretty comfortable for me. I know this sounds gross, but you kind of have to let the glue build on it, like maybe wear them twice before you remove the glue, and that second time you put them on will definitely be more shaped to your eye and more comfortable. Also, make sure to cut them down and cut off the edges. These ones are still a bit too long for me, but I just leave on the length, I don't care. <laughs> so I definitely would recommend the Style Hollywood. These ones are my favorite. They still are really thick and voluminous, but they have a very natural sort of separation and spikiness to it too. So I could wear these on a glam day just like this, like a wearable glam, but also with a darker smoky eye, they have that spike to them where they'll still stand out. For the lipsticks, my favorite one is definitely the Black One Nightmare. It is a drier formula, but this is a lipstick that just needs one coat and you're good to go. I would just suggest putting on a lip treatment or just a lip balm underneath it so that it's comfortable. But these kinds of really dry, matte liquid lipsticks honestly are the ones that last the longest. And this color Parish is so unique. I love these like gross mustardy kind of lips. Um, my lip combo for this one is actually this lip color Parish and I have the Black Moon Cosmetics Cider on the inside. I feel like this darker, more mustardy caramel shade, <laughs> that was a lot of descriptors, but this kind of brown mustard makes this yellow lip a little bit more wearable for everyday. Like, I totally can see myself making this my everyday look now. The red shade Blood Rose is really beautiful, but I feel like it leans a little bit on the pink side if you only have one layer on, so this definitely requires two coats to give you that really bright crimson red lip. And I personally like to wear it with like a darker lip liner just to make sure that it's a lot faster to apply. Thank you so much for watching my try on and review of Glam Goth Beauty. If you like this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel as well. For a closer look of all of my makeup, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Marilyn Mugbeat. I'll see you next time. Bye.